Hey y'all, welcome to Writing Nuclear Decay Equations. Um, before we get into that, let's talk about the why real quick. Um, why does nuclear decay even occur? So when nuclear decay occurs is when we have this unstable atom or this unstable nucleus, and it wants to become more stable. Um, so the way it does that to try to become more stable, it emits or ejects uh, the particles that are making it unstable. Um, so uh, some of the particles it can emit or eject from its uh, from the nucleus um, to become more stable are some of these some of these over here. Um, so here there's some type of particles that I want you guys to jot down in your notebook. So our first one here we have an alpha particle. So an alpha particle is just a helium atom. Um, so it has a mass of four and the atomic number is two. So it has two protons in that nucleus and it's got a total mass of four. Uh, then we have the beta particle. So the beta particle is just an electron. Um, so an electron is going to be represented by that symbol um, E, and we know the mass of an electron is super, 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 super small. Um, so it's so negligible, neg negligible um, that we're going to assume it's zero. So we're going to have the mass of zero, and then we know that the charge of an electron is negative one. Um, then we have this thing called a gamma ray. So the gamma ray is um, going to be represented by um, this cool Y symbol, um, or Y looking symbol, um, and the mass of uh, gamma rays are zero. Um, and uh, the gamma rays, uh, they're basically just this, this packet of energy. So they're basically just, yeah, this traveling energy that has no mass. Um, and then we have the neutron. So a neutron, um, we assume um, its mass relative to the atomic mass and relative to the mass of electrons is going to be one. Um, and we know something about neutrons too, that they have no charge. So we're going to have a zero here to represent no charge. Um, and now we're going to head over to transformers. Not really, but this, this uh, word positron always reminds me of just a weird transformer. Um, and a positron, it looks like we're representing with that E and it's still got that mass of zero, um, except it's a positron. So it's gonna have a positive one charge instead of that negative one charge um, for the electron. So here are five particles um, that, are, that can be emitted, um, ejected, um, or um, even trigger uh, some of these uh, nuclear decays. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna keep this in mind. Now we got this in our notebook. Um, so nuclear reactions, a little bit more information on it. Um, so in chemical reactions, that's when we have atoms rearranged to make new products. So these uh, elements are moved around um, and we get new products. For nuclear reactions, we're dealing with the nucleus. So we're dealing with the nucleus. The nucleus is changing. So because the nucleus is changing, we can form new elements. Um, and one key part, um, instead of, um, the elements being balanced on both sides, uh, we actually conserve the mass number and the atomic number. So the top number is going to be the same on both sides. So if we notice our arrow here, um, on the left side, we have a total of 14. On the right side, we have a total of 14 plus 0 is 14. Um, and same thing for the atomic number. They are going to be the same on both sides. So 6 on the left side, and then 7 plus negative 1 on the other side, on the right side, and that's also going to be 6. So we're going to try to conserve our mass and atomic numbers as we're writing out these nuclear equations. Okay, so our first one is with americium. Um, so with um, americium, it's going to undergo an alpha decay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to write its isotope symbol. Um, so the isotope symbol is Am for the element. And then we know for this americium, the mass is 241. So we can toss 241. Oh, there it is. Um, for the mass number for this isotope. Um, okay, now what's going to be the atomic number? Um, so that's when we're going to have to look at the periodic table. If we look at the periodic table, we got the atomic number as 95. So we're going to put two, uh, 241 on the top, 95 at the bottom. Um, so this is undergoing, so I'm drawing this arrow, it's undergoing an alpha decay. It's undergoing an alpha decay. I'm going to change colors here. Let's go with green. Um, so if we can think back, or if we have our notebook, we can just take a look at that. Um, we're going to be losing an alpha particle. So from this americium, it's ejecting from this unstable radioactive element. It's ejecting an alpha particle. An alpha particle is always going to be 4,2-He helium. So alpha decay. Um, so we're losing this alpha particle. Um, so this is going to go out as alpha radiation, um, but we won't get into that right now. Um, so we start off with this unstable thing, loses this uh, radiation or emits this particle, um, and now we're left with a new element. 
Um, so to figure this out, um, we want to have our mass number conserved on both sides. So we start off with 241, and we're losing a mass of 4. So if we had 241, we lost 4, we're going to be at 237. We're going to do the same thing for the atomic number. We start off with an atomic number of 95, and we lost an atomic number. We lost two protons from our nucleus, so we're going to have 93 protons now. All right, so we have a new atomic number of 93. What element has the atomic number of 93? On the top of my head, no. Well, let's take a look at a periodic table, right? So we don't have to have it memorized, but let's look at a periodic table. What is the atomic number of 93? So we know our periodic table is arranged by atomic number, number of protons. We found it right here. So we got neptunium. So we got neptunium. So our new element that's formed um, is going to be neptunium, which has an element symbol of NP. Of NP. All right. So here's our full nuclear decay of americium 241 when it undergoes an alpha decay. So the alpha decay of um, americium 241, we lost an alpha particle, and we're left with neptunium 237. All right, let's try one more. Let's try one more. Um, that's a periodic table. Let's go to the next one here. Um, so we have iodine-131 decaying to form a beta particle and another element. All right, what color are we on? Mm, let's start off with blue again. So iodine-131. So let's write the nuclear isotope or isotope symbol, um, iodine-131. This mass of I, the mass of this iodine isotope is 131. We want to grab its atomic number. So we're going to look at our periodic table. Let's take a look where iodine's at, right over here. The atomic number is 53. So let's toss 53 on there. All right, cool. And now we know that it's decaying. So it's decaying into something else, right? So it's decaying. It's going from this unstable iodine-131 um, and spitting out something. Let's see what it spits out. Um, so it looks like we got it spitting out a beta particle. All right, cool. So we're spitting out a beta particle. Um, so a beta particle um, is that electron, right? So the electron's mass of zero. It's got that negative one charge. And we're going to use that E to represent electron. Um, and it's it's emitting that, so that's going off, and we're getting a new element, so it's it's becoming another element. Um, so we got another element. Let's pick one more color here. Let's go with green. So we want to get this new element. Um, so same thing. We're going to conserve our mass on both sides. So we start off with a mass of 131. We lost zero mass. Hey, that's 131. Um, so the mass is going to stay the same. So the mass number is still 131. Um, all right. This is a little tricky. We start off with an atomic number 53. We're losing negative one to get a new number. Um, so one way you could do it is you could take 53 minus negative one. If you take that minus negative one, right? So we take 53 minus negative one. Um, in math, if you learned, that's gonna become a plus. So 53 plus one, really. Um, so 53 minus negative one is gonna give us 54. So our new atomic number is 54. So new atomic number. Oh, and let's label this up beta particle. Beta. All right. Let's go in and find out what element this is that has an atomic number of 54. Um, flip back to our periodic table. It's right by our original element. So xenon. So xenon. So xenon, um, which is represented by the symbol Xe. So our full nuclear equation for this one is iodine-131 going through a beta decay to get xenon-131. Um, another way to figure out this number 54 is when you have nothing there. Let's, let's get rid of it one second. So you can think of like, hey, what plus negative 1 is going to get me 53? And the only way that's going to work is 54, right? So 54 plus negative 1 on my right side is 53, and I start off with 53 on my left side. All right, pause the video, pause the video. Try these two in your notebook. Once you've tried both these, um, both these equations, um, yeah, I'll go over it, but pause it. All right, unpause, let's unpause that video and uh, let's see, let's see, um, yeah, what it should have been. 
So we should have got for this first one. Let's go to three. Um, I'm going to start right here. 24, 11, E. All right, we should have got that for our first one. Our second one we should have got um, 238, 92, uranium, decaying to an alpha particle and another element, 234, 90, thorium. All right, so those should have been our two, two equations. Um, if you didn't get it, go back and try again. Um, but yeah, otherwise, see y'all.